Okay, uh, <coughs> this is uh, the Why Not Farm and Ranch uh, in Northwest Kansas. Production is organic wheat, registered grass fed, grass finished, belted Galloway cattle, and then we have organic produce and some organic fruit, some organic berries. And <coughs> we produce organic forage, but usually uh, at a deficit, so we don't have much to sell of that. We are completely surrounded by conventional uh, producers. Uh, when we became organic, there was basically one other organic producer in the county. <laughs> Food quality in the United States is another reason to go organic. For the past, basically since the country was founded, Food has been sold on price and quantity, period, under discussion. Uh, now very far into it with uh, industrial agriculture the way it is and large farms the way they are, what you're getting is you're getting quantity uh, and whatever measurements you take are, are calculated, but the quality of a food overall is declining. Uh, we have seen in years where uh, it's been wet during harvest and there's been wheat pressure on the wheat. Uh, people go through with uh, Roundup uh, and spray glyphosates on the crop like that. It's an off-label use. Uh, it dries out the weeds that are dying, uh, finishes drying out the wheat, and then we harvest it within uh, 7 to 10 days. Uh, from what we're reading, for instance, uh, gluten intolerance, a large part of that is driven by a reaction to glyphosates or other such uh, products. We have seen a huge increase in the amount of wildlife around the homestead uh, from the day we bought the place. And the homestead had been empty and abandoned for about 20 years. You can see it's fairly lush. Uh, we're creating a microclimate. We're working on spreading that microclimate to all of our fields. Uh, our plans include uh, Lord Willing and Creek Don't Rise. Uh, we will put in approximately one and one third miles of tree lines among the fields to reduce uh, evaporation and wind velocity, but also to increase wildlife. Okay, this, this is an interesting issue in terms of consumer acceptance of the organic products and how local people have reacted to our organic production. Um, there's one anecdote which is kind of interesting um, where we know of a couple farmers who will only buy organic food but they produce conventionally, but they won't eat what they produce. Uh, locally, uh, we've done yeah. They are content. You can feel their contentment. Oh, God. Green.